What? 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 Hey, First Floor family. Ever since the final episode of the modern era of the First Floor Figures Q&A aired prior to Gamescom sometime last month, we've all been waiting with bated breath to see when we might see Alex and Chaco's shining faces once more for a Q&A. There was some expectation that perhaps that day would be today because of the Gears 5 Kate Diaz validation going on, but as it turns out, that was not to be. And so, many people were left sad and despondent, like me. And so, to try to fill that void just a little bit, I thought I would put together for the first, and hopefully only time, the unofficial First Four Figures Week in Review video, number one. I'm here with my co-host, John Cena, but F4F, and I'm gonna fill you in on everything that happened in the last mm, several weeks with First Four Figures. So, to start off, Let's take a look at the most recent teaser that we had for an item we had no idea might be coming. Okay, so on the last day of August, Alex posted in the Facebook group this teaser of a mysterious character that Okami fans were able to quickly identify as Waka and who I then was able to quickly Google and determine is some sort of mysterious human character who shows up in the video game Okami and messes around with Amaterasu. Um, this is a bit of a surprise because we know that Oki is in the works for the Okami line after the upcoming Resin Amaterasu, and we know that some development work has been done on a Chibitarasu of some sort, perhaps a diorama, we don't really know, but it looks like we might be seeing Waka sooner than later as well. Next up, we've got the announcement of not one, not two, but three, three Last Chance Weekends coming up. It's been a little while since we've had a Last Chance Weekend, so I wasn't sure if they were going to happen anymore. I know that a couple things like the Solid Snake PVC got missed for Last Chance Weekend, but these three resin statues are all going to be getting Last Chance Weekends. So let's take a look. First, Jet Black. This one's actually pretty interesting because Jet just went up for order back in May. That was only four months ago. So for orders to be closing and for him to be going into production, that's pretty good. That's really fast. People must have bought Jet. I, I sort of doubt that he's going to sell a thousand units like Spike Spiegel did, but if numbers are good and they're going into production, excellent. The next piece up wasn't quite as swift. It's Phoenix Wright. Phoenix went up for order back in November of last year, and he didn't sell spectacularly as far as we know. Like there had been some concerns by some people that maybe Phoenix could get vaulted, something would happen, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Last Chance Weekend coming up, he must be fast-tracked for production, so hopefully we will be seeing Phoenix right sooner than later, probably sometime in early 2020 would be my guess. And finally, we've got Conker on Throne from Conker's Bad Fur Day. He was the last pre-order of 2018. Uh, he was hanging out at the end of December, so it's been about nine months that we've been waiting for Conker, but we've seen some uh, casting sneak peeks from the factory on Conker. Obviously, there's some work going on, and if you want to get it on Conker, this is your chance, because Last Chance Week is upon us. Word life. Um... I mentioned a couple of minutes ago that today was the validation day for Kate Diaz. This is kind of a momentous occasion because I believe it's the first time we've ever had a validation day where there was nobody really monitoring it. There wasn't any live stream. There wasn't any official presence in the group being like, hey, it's time for validation. How's it going? Here's how many people have validated. Here's some timestamps. Uh, it's kind of weird not having that, but, you know, I mean... Eventually, I, I believe we heard that it might be automated, so this is just the wave of the future. Uh, why Kate? Like, I, I don't know. Like, my personal spin on that is that there were just so many orders for Kate that over at the F4F offices, they did not want to waste the bandwidth on any video today for Kate because they knew that people were going to be sitting there F5ing on their computers. They couldn't wait to get in for that validation and get the lowest possible number because they're happy Gears 5 fans. And hopefully Kate has sold thousands and thousands of statues. 
in the absence of the weekly Q and A's, Alex has started giving us some weekly updates in the FRF OCC Facebook group. So if you're hoping to see any updates on Varisuit Samus production or what's going to be shipping around the world, those updates are going to be weekly now. Uh, last week, Varisuit Samus exclusive, the factory only made mm, 34, not so great. But this week, they made a mighty. 50 various suit Samus exclusives, leaving just 900 to go. 50 is not a great number, but as Alex commented himself in the OCC, compared to last week's 34, 50 is insanely good. Meanwhile, we got shipping updates for what's going to be happening next week. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's going to be arriving at the warehouse in the United States next week, but in Asia, the Solid Snake SD PVCs are going to arrive. That's not that slow. Like, we had seen Solid Snake SD for the first time at a U.S. convention at um, Emerald City Comic Con back in March, so that's about six months ago, and he's about to hit Asia, Australia, so by the end of the year we should be seeing Snake's cute chibi face right here in the United States and around the world. Uh, let's see, in Canada next week, Aku Aku Masks, Shovel Knight, Ornstein, Bowser, they're all arriving. In the UK next week, Shovel Knight. Ornstein, Bowser, all arriving. So if you are in Australia, Asia, Canada, or the UK, that's what's coming to your warehouse next week. We also got to see a sneak peek comparison this week of Faye Valentine, the third piece in the F4F Cowboy Bebop series of resin statues. Uh, Faye seems to be coming along okay. Like we got to see how she sized up right next to Jet and Spike. She's looking good. Um, she doesn't seem to be that far along yet, so I think we're probably quite a few months away from the pre-order for her, but I would love to be wrong about that. Jet is going to be uh, hitting production soon because this is his last chance week as I mentioned a little bit earlier on and I'm, I don't know, Faye looks nice. I'm happy with the progress on her. She looks a lot better than those early uh, 3D renders that we had seen of her and I, I'm really looking forward to this but what I'm really looking forward to seeing is Ed and Ayn the dog. Now I was under the impression that we had never seen anything of Ayn but Alex did respond to one of my comments in the Facebook group and he said tee hee. So it's possible we had seen an impossible hint of I'm the dog. But if, if we did, I, I can't find it and I, I have looked, but no, no dice, not yet. Even though there's not been any live streams for Alex to place them inside of, we have gotten a couple of looks from inside the factory at some work that's going on and some statues that are uh, on the fast line to production. One is Psycho Mantis. Psycho Mantis, we got to actually see some photos and videos of him inside the oven being baked for the oven test. That's where he's going to cook for 24 hours, or I guess he's already cooked because we've seen the video, and that's to ensure that even at a high temperature, He's not going to lean. That's the aging test. It prevents problems like what happened with Fighter Kirby oh so long ago. And it looks like the test was a success from what we could see in the video. So everything is looking pretty good for uh, Psycho Mantis. Meanwhile, we also got to see some production. We got to see some colors being put onto the Okami Amaterasu PVC base. There's a lot of them. They're very circular and red. Uh, Nothing really exciting to say about these, but it is good to see that they're coming along and uh, I've got high hopes that those are going to start to ship out, at least in some parts of the world, before the end of the year, right on time for NQ4 2019. All right, I think that's everything except for the TT. All right, so this week we had the first TT in quite a while. Peggy has been away. She was at Gamescom. She was in Seattle for PAX West. And we didn't have any TTs for a couple weeks, but this week we do have one. What was it? I, I don't remember. Um, let's find that out. So we're going to take a quick look here. Search Peggy. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Most recent. Peggy, Peggy, Peggy. I don't see it. I don't see it. Uh, oh, there it is. All right, so this week's TT is... Spolunky. 
So this is a really great uh, opportunity for all of the Spelunky fans out there to let their voices be heard. Uh, as of now, there are 13 yes votes and 184 no votes. So uh, Spelunky fans, um, rally the fans. And that is all for this week. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the first and only episode of the unofficial First Four Figures Week in Review. See ya.